my name and say yes, come on. Oh yes, I'm here for Food Friday. One more time. Oh yes, sit back, relax, unwind. What's my name? Come on. Oh yes, I'm here for Food Friday. One more time. Oh yeah, sit back, relax, unwind. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. We are here for another Foolery Friday. Yeah! We have a lot to talk about. Not such great things. I contemplated on if I wanted to talk on some subjects, but I decided to go ahead and talk about it because we need this conversation. Because it keeps happening over and over and over again. First, some housekeeping. I may or may not be here next Friday. Okay, so things are coming up. Okay, so um, I may not be here for Foolery Friday next week. So, um, yeah, I will um, upload the week after. But if I can squeeze it in. Um, I'll put up a Foolery Friday, but if not, if there's no, you know, big story or nothing much going on, then I will decline Foolery Friday, but if something big happened that we need to talk about, then I will try to fit it in, so just be aware that it may not be a Foolery Friday next week, okay? All right. Now, I am aware of the George Floyd um, trial that's going on. You know, that trash is on trial for what he did to George Floyd. I think that Monday, um, or today, I'm not quite sure, is the closing arguments. And then we shall see what will happen to the trash. Y'all already know how I feel about them. Jail! Then hey. Now, we also know that there was another um, shooting, okay, again in Minnesota, not too far from where they are holding the trial. <sighs> Young man by the name of Dante Wright, traveling along, he got pulled over by some officers, okay, apparently an expired registration. So he got pulled over. They did some investigating, come to find out that he had a, um, a warrant, misdemeanor warrant, failed to appear. He didn't show up for court. Again, misdemeanor warrant, I think for a traffic violation. Now, of course, they have released the body cam footage. Awful, awful, awful. Dante gets out of his vehicle. There was a struggle. We hear a female officer and C say, Taser, Taser, shoots Dante. Dante gets back in his vehicle, drives a couple of blocks, crashes, and we know what happened after that. Okay? Now, when he drives away, we hear said officer say, Holy shit, I shot him. Do y'all want to know who this female officer is? Okay. The female officer is Kim Potter. Kim Potter is a 26-year veteran. Let me say that again. 26-year veteran. She was also over the police union. Now, I'm not going to go detail to detail, blow by blow. But for someone who is a 26-year veteran, you cannot tell me, you can't tell between the difference of a taser and a gun. I'll tell you why. Because, see, I have held both. I have held a gun and I have held a taser. And there is a weight difference. Now, 
Well, you know, you can speculate on why it was positioned close together on her vest, on her body. Why was her gun here, her taser here? Who knows? She picked the wrong one. Again, a 26-year veteran. This wasn't a rookie. This wasn't her first rodeo. Was it stress, high stress, um, discombobulation, a whole lot going on? And she chose the gun over the taser. Maybe she got confused. Well, let me say this. An officer told me a long time ago, officers know their weapon. They know their service weapons. It is attached to them. It's their third hand. They know the grip. They know the hold. They know the touch. They know the smell. They clean it. They shoot it. They know their service weapon. She picked her service weapon over a taser. She got charged with second degree manslaughter. She was released on a hundred thousand dollar bond. A hundred thousand dollar bond. Now, again, 26 year veteran. Okay. Now, the chief of police, Tim Gannon, this is what he says happened. This is what he says. He says that this was an accidental shooting. He believed that the officer had the intention to deploy their taser, but instead shot Mr. Wright with a single gunshot wound, with a single bullet. Accidental, huh? Again, you know your service weapon and the taser. And if you don't know, then you shouldn't have put yourself in that position to begin with. Again, a 26-year veteran. She resigned. Okay. I guess she want to get that pension. Because she will get her pension. Also, the chief of police, he resigned. I guess he's going to get his you know, pension as well. Y'all, this is a story that we keep talking about. The same sad story. I don't know what the answer is. I know that I'm tired of reporting on stories like this. Stories that could have been prevented. I don't know what it's like to be a police officer. I've never been a police officer. But for someone who have worked around police officers for 21 years. I have worked around police officers. I tell you, it's time to have a difficult conversation. Sometimes you need to have the difficult conversations. And if y'all think that I walk into work and we don't have these type of difficult conversations, you the fell and bumped your head. Prayers going up for Dante Wright's family. I I just can't imagine. How old was Dante Wright, y'all? Did I did I put that down? Was he was he 18 years old? Was he 18, y'all? Was he 21? Anyway, he was a young fella. And also, Dante called his mother. When he was pulled over and he told his mother that he thought he was getting pulled over because of an air freshener that was hanging from his mirror. His mother stated that she heard some scuffling on the other end of the phone. Can you imagine the heartbreak that your son calls you and says, I got pulled over and then you hear scuffling and you hear nothing else? I feel 
horrible for this woman and his father and his whole family. Just devastating. Devastating. Y'all, it is it's time for officers to have better training. But yet again, you have a 26-year veteran. Be careful. Be mindful. Don't rush to do things. Know where your stuff is on your person. Gun. Taser. Body cam. Um, um, mace. Whatever. Handcuffs. Whatever. Make sure you know where everything is. Child, we got Pat Robinson. Y'all know Pat Robinson, child. Honey, ultra conservative Pat Robinson. Y'all done got him all up in a frenzy. He says that the trash that is on trial for George Floyd's murder need to be underneath the jail. That's what Pat Robinson said. Pat Robinson, child, y'all got his dentures shaking. Pat Robinson is 113 years old. And he was on TV, the 700 Club. Child, somebody done handed this man a gun and a taser. He says that he just can't believe that this happened. He said that this woman was in the wrong. Y'all got Pat Robinson, 155 years old, up there shaking, holding a gun. He don't even have bones left. Pat Robinson is just gumby. He just got Metamucil running through his veins and y'all done gave this man a gun. What is going on? I mean, I understand what Pat Robinson is saying and he wasn't wrong. He was absolutely right. But for Pat Robinson, Mr. Conservative himself, to be on this side of the law, wow. That says a lot. And I'm sure a lot of people have the same feeling about it. Okay? Lord, Pat Robinson up there with that gun. I said, Lord have mercy. Y'all take that out of his hands. Pat Robinson is 180 years old. He went to high school with Moses. And y'all that gave that man the gun. Child, stop. There is a bright light to all this. I do have a good story to tell. Let's talk about Carol Horn, honey. A queen, honey. Carol Horn was a law enforcement officer. And one of her co-workers was doing some shady things. Wasn't doing quite right. Her co-worker was hurting someone, so Carol took it upon herself to do the right thing, as a black woman usually do, do the right thing and step in and said, uh-uh, not on my watch. Stop it. You're not doing this. This is wrong. Well, guess what happened to Miss Horn? She got fired for doing the right thing. And so she sued. And guess what, y'all? After 12 years, which is despicable, 12 years, she finally won the settlement, she won the lawsuit, and she gets her pension. And she gets all the back pay, honey. All her back pay, her pension, and she won the lawsuit. I hope she broke that county and city that this happened in. Deplorable. You have to go through that because you did the right thing. Now let me ask you some friends. Let's say that it was a white man. Let's say it was this Kim Potter who did the same thing that Carol Horn did. Do you think they would have got fired? Oh hell no. They would have got a promotion. Congratulations, Carol Horn, if that's, you know, even worth it after 12 years. You keep doing you. You keep being the woman that you are, honey. Proud of it. 
proud of you. We need more of Carol Horns. White, black, Hispanic, Asian, we need more of her. Let's move on. Let's talk about Usher and his shenanigans. Usher woke up and thought it was a good idea to prank some strippers. Honey, Usher got them strippers in a frenzy, child. Usher, he walked into a strip club and said, we're going to have fun today. We're going to have fun with these strippers. Honey, you know them strippers lost their mind when they seen Usher walk through that door. Which I'm sure pretty much all of them do when they see a celebrity who have some money. They know they're about to get it in, honey. They're about to make some cash. I bet you they were like, listen up, ladies. Whatever y'all have in y'all's tricks, okay? All right, pull out the oil, pull out every bath and body work, spritz and lotion, pull out every Victoria's Secret. Honey, I bet you that strip club smelled like moonlight delight, sunshine radius, honey, brown sugar, vanilla crisp. Honey, I all love it was smelling like a strip club. I bet you it was glitter everywhere. I bet you it was strippers who had went home. They found out that Usher was in the strip club. They jumped in the Honda Civic Central Altima, and honey, they was going 100 on that freeway. Just putting on that, you know, brown sugar, you know, bath and body works lotion. <laughs> Smelling like a whole apple pie. So Usher, he walks in there, and he starts making it rain. On the brown muffins and the white cupcakes. Honey, you know they was just a jiggling. They were doing back flip, front flip, side flips. They were on the head turning. They were, you know, uh, up to the ceiling. Then they dropped down. They were doing splits. They were doing high kicks. Honey, they were doing everything to get that money. And they got it. Thousands and thousands of dollars. Well... One stripper, I don't know what her name is. Let's just call her Candy Lou. Now, Candy Love put it out there in the social media. Look what we got from Usher. Honey, she showed a picture of some money with Usher's face on it. Usher books. Boy, when I tell you, I had tears rolling down my face. I said, I know he did. So, of course, the internet. Got a hold to it and honey, whoo, Lord, not Usher Bucks. You mean these women is out there pulling ligaments just so they can get some Usher Bucks? So everybody had a good laugh. Good laugh. And then here comes some more strippers saying, now listen, yes, we got some Usher Bucks, but we also got real money. This one stripper took a picture of her money. She took a picture of some of the Usher bucks. But she took pictures of real money that Usher got. When I tell you this girl had two stacks of real money. I said, girl, you better do it. Now, the money was full of glitter. But that don't matter. <laughs> and I'm sure that money smelled like a good old brown muffin, honey. But she got that money. Now, the original girl, who obviously wanted some attention, she came out and she said, yes, he did give real money. I just posted it. You all are the one that ran with it. Girl, if you don't go somewhere and sit out, I hope them other strippers jump you in the parking lot. <laughs>
he got women throwing their depends at the television. I ain't no mad at it. I ain't mad at it. You better go, Ron. Ron look good. It was a great versus. Steve Harvey, of course, he has to be Steve. Steve had to talk. Steve had to tell his stories. It's Steve Harvey and all of his things. I'm not a fan of Steve Harvey. Ever since what Steve Harvey did to his ex-wife, I'm not a fan of him. Just leaving his ex-wife out here destitute. Steve Harvey, I'm there talking about the good old times. Anyway, yes, I watched the verses. Yes, I enjoyed myself. We watched two legends get it on. And boy, wasn't it great. The next one I do believe is Escape and SWV. So, of course, I'm looking forward to that. Let's move on. Let's talk about some vaccinations, honey. Johnson and Johnson, one and done. Several people have taken the Johnson and Johnson vaccine. Well, six people who have taken it resulted in having blood clots. So Johnson & Johnson says, uh-uh, don't y'all be out here saying this is a recall. This is not a recall. We have put the vaccination on hold. They have notified the FDA and, you know, health care workers and doctors and medical physicians, all that, told them, uh-uh, y'all put that back on your ship. We got to do a little bit more research. Now, when you think about it, out of the many of doses that Johnson & Johnson have gave out, okay, six people was getting, was having a reaction to it, which was blood clots. But still, Johnson & Johnson says, no recall, we just put it on hold. Now, me, myself, okay, I had taken my vaccine months ago, child, months ago. I got the Pfizer. All right. I didn't have no problems. I had a sore arm, but really that was it. I haven't had any problems. I haven't had no pineapple growing out my butthole. I haven't had an extra head coming out my neck. I haven't had tree limbs coming out from underneath my arm. So, you know, <clears throat> I've been doing all right. They also said that with the Pfizer that um, you will have to take a third shot. Well, you know, it's a virus. You know, when you take your flu shot every year, you all understand what I'm saying? So you're going to have to take another shot, and I'm fine with that, all right? So anyway, child, Johnson & Johnson, honey, they couldn't get baby powder right. They couldn't get the vaccine right. One and done, huh? One and done, honey. They tried to take that literally. Very 
attractive. So Chloe just had a full insecure breakdown. She has been dancing on camera, showing her yayas, putting her hands over her breasts, standing there butt naked, jumping up and down just so we can see her real body. If Insecure had a name, honey, it would be Khloe Kardashian. Chloe, we see what you look like and what you paid for. Chloe don't even have the same face. All body. Y'all look at them old pictures of Chloe and tell me if that's the same person. Chloe, if you felt comfortable in the carving that you have done to yourself, you wouldn't have to show and act the fool on, on blind. Because some troll got you in your feelings. You had to strip down yourself and your clothing to prove to who? Who are you jumping up and down butt naked for? Us? Something wrong with them. Kim Kardashian is now a billionaire. And I think, what's the other one? It's Kylie. I think she's close to being a billionaire. These girls be hustling, don't they? But I just wish they... Uh, Chloe's just a mess. The only one I think to have good sense is Courtney. Courtney out there having the time of her life with Travis Barker from Blink-182. <sighs> let's move on. Alright, let's talk about the talk. Is it the talk, y'all? Yeah. Yeah. The talk, we all know that Sharon Osbourne got F-I-R-E-D, you're fired. So we know Sharon Osbourne got fired because she's an idiot and she's a Captain Saber Ho. So they got her fired. So they were on hiatus. Now they're back and Sherry Shepard is talking. Sherry Shepard said that Sharon Osbourne has yet to apologize. For her behavior and the way she spoke to Sherry Shepard. I'm not surprised. Sharon Osborne is trash. She proved it. But Sherry Shepard said that what she really wanted to do, if she really wanted to get into Sharon Osborne's booty, she knows she couldn't because she would have been labeled as the angry black woman. And that would be correct. Because, see, everything attached to a black woman, when we show our emotions, when we start speaking in the intelligent, high-pitched manner in which we do, we are labeled as angry. Get a hood. Isn't that correct, friends? We're not all like that. Some of us are louder than others, but we still have the same, you know, intelligence. We still can hold a conversation. We still have some type of decorum with us for us not to be labeled that all the time. So Sherry Shepard said, you know what? I was going to keep my cool. Let Sharon Osbourne act the way she had it. Now see, when Sharon Osbourne was up there cutting the shine, she wasn't labeled angry white woman. She was labeled as emotional. Upset. Okay. Okay. All y'all can eat battery acid. I know exactly what Sherry Shepard is saying, and she is absolutely right. Sherry Shepard, honey, you keep on doing what you're doing, child. You handled that situation beautifully. And who cares if she don't give you an apology? Who cares? Her husband is walking sideways for the rest of his life. Sherry Shepard, you just keep on doing what you're doing, child. Will they replace Sharon? I have no idea. I don't watch the talk. I don't watch the view. I don't watch. What's the other one? Is there another one? Anyway, I don't watch none of them. The only one that I do watch is Wendy Williams. 
That's it. Let's move on. All right, let's talk about Tina Turner. If you have HBO Max, y'all need to watch the Tina Turner documentary. It was shot beautifully. It was a fantastic documentary. Tina Turner is the epitome of a strong woman. Okay, beautiful, sexy, intelligent, smart. She was her own woman. She made her own rules. She didn't care what anybody told her. She didn't care when people were saying, you can't do this. This isn't your brand. No one would watch. Tina said, if y'all don't get up out my face, I'm going to show you who I am. I am Tina Turner. And then Tina Turner kicked open the doors and said, What's love got to do? Got to do with it. Hey, hey. What's love? Does it get any emotion? Tina said, See, I told you. Tina wanted to go into the rock world, rock RB. She said, It can be done. It will be done. I'm going to do it. I'm going to show you. And that was Tina Turner's biggest hit, one of her biggest hits, without Ike. But she wasn't done. She said, you know what? I'm about to do a little private dancer. Dance up on my day. I said, come on, Tina, with your sexy self. Number legs, honey. Tina spiked up her hair. She put on a mini skirt. She had legs for days, and she strutted. chance to see that documentary I recommend it okay just a great great um, documentary and I enjoyed it I really really um, enjoyed it and you know Tina Turner she's a queen she's a legend okay <sighs> let's move on all right guys that's it my mouth is dry honey I need to get me something to eat something to drink and do some laundry Oof. I hope you all <clears throat> have a fantastic, fantastic weekend. I did put up a video yesterday with some sad trash news. So y'all go over there and watch that. Don't forget to hit that like.